1911, the 13th of June, the scientist was born who later went on to shake up the world with new innovations by developing things that are truly amazing. He took a liking to science at an early age, but then fell in love with physics in a major way. So in 1934, he got a master's degree, and in 1936, he earned a PhD, which brings us up to World War II. He developed three radar systems for us to use to land aircrafts, locate targets, detect weapons. His mind thought of all of this when the war ended his work wasn't done next up he invented the hydrogen bubble chamber which is used to find subatomic particles he won the nobel prize in physics for this and became the first hispanic american to win next he set his sights on pyramids he used cosmic rays to search for their chambers kind of like how x-rays use radiation there weren't any chambers that he found but the technique he used is still around Lewis teamed up with his son to solve the mystery of dinosaur extinction. His son, a geologist named Walter, showed a three-layered rock to his physicist father. Limestone on the top, limestone on the bottom. The clay middle layer was why he called his father. It was laid down 65 million years ago at the time of the dinosaur's disappearance. So Lewis analyzed it and found iridium, which is rare on Earth, but space has plenty of. They then theorized the iridium arrived when a giant asteroid and the Earth collided. This became the Alvarez hypothesis. Some people thought it was outlandish, but today it's widely accepted. Tried, true, and tested via scientific method. To sum things up, I'll leave you with this quote about the man himself from a book that he wrote. I will probably be remembered longest for work done with my son Walt in a field about which I knew absolutely nothing until I was 66 years old. for my song was that he was a great scientist. And like all great scientists, he was passionate about his field, his work, and he made great discoveries because of his curiosity.